Hi everyone. Um, this is the first time I've ever done a vlog. I think that's what you call it. Um, but I wanted to um, just share a little bit of our journey in picking up our new boat. So I'm still at home, but we're going to be leaving very soon and picking Vince up, driving up to Nelson Bay. And then we're going to bring the boat back down um, the ocean and it'll be about a nine to 10 hour trip and I'm going to record some of it. So hopefully, yep, you will come along for the journey if you wish. Um, anyway, that's all I've got to say now. Um, the car is packed, Esky's ready to go, and I'll come back on when we get to Nelson Bay. Ciao. Hello, hello. we're back again. We're here at the beautiful Nelson Bay Marina. Look at all those boats. Now I'm going to take you and we can have a look at our boat. Well, that one's for sale too, but we're not getting that one because we're not millionaires. Very nice though. If you look over there in the distance, you'll see Damon and Vince. And there in the right hand side of the, the screen, you'll see our new little Roberts 32. So I say little, for us it's big, but it's little because it's sitting alongside boats that are probably twice, maybe three times its size. So if you look back here, some of these boats, like, you know, 60, 70, 80 foot boats. But we are very, very happy with our little Roberts. She's a 1991 diesel flybridge. More soon. Hello, so here we are and we have taken um, possession of the boat. It's very, very, very exciting. We've given the check and we've signed the rego papers and it's ours. So we're just here at the marina at Nelson Bay and we've had dinner up up at Hog's Breath. I'll just, uh, I'll show you where we had dinner. Let me just, hold on a sec. I can't turn around. Sorry, um, yeah, show you later. And this is our boat. So there's Vincenzo, just figuring stuff out. Say hi, honey. Hello. I have to the stereo one. Oh, <laughs> trying, to, trying to figure the stereo. Oh, I just told him yeah. to So um, mind the mess because I've got heaps of stuff in there. Yeah, so anyway, um, yeah, I'll, actually I was going to take you, look, I'll do another video. Talk to you soon. Bye. So I've managed to turn the camera around now. Um, just modern technology, you know, I, I struggle with it. Um, that's where we had dinner at the hog's breath up there. And this is, we're just standing on the deck of our boat. And you can have a little look inside there. Yeah, it's a bit of a mess. Sorry about that. And then up, yep, see here, you can walk right up the sides. I'm going to show you actually right up the sides here and up the stairs and up the front that's where the anchor is and then if you look up here whoo, who's that Vincenzo so I'm going to take you up the top to what's called the flybridge and you can on these boats you can drive <laughs> downstairs or upstairs so you get a choice so downstairs you can see that steering wheel there, see there? and oops oh here comes Vincenzo coming down the stairs right now look at that hey honey Hi. 
Okay, and we're going back up. I'm just going to get the air guard. And this is the flybridge. So you get a really good view from up here. As you can see, that's the, the other place to drive. So yeah, it's very versatile. And then if you look out here, look at that. We're actually right next next to the marine police, which is handy. And good morning. It is eight minutes past six, and we're just leaving Nelson Pen Marina on our big voyage across the sea. Very exciting, very nerve-wracking, but absolutely stunning. So I'm just going to take you up the front here. So a lot of the fishermen have already left. But we're going to be following them out.
long course coming past Newcastle which is very distant in the background I'm not sure if you can see that Before I go any further I just wanted to pay homage to an incredible product called Travel Calm so the seasickness has settled right down which is very very wonderful and I thought I'd just give you a little tour I'm going to excuse all the stuff and the mess so this is their little bee berth kind of got two beds the bathroom with a, a shower there coming back upstairs
like I said before, we've done a little bit of decluttering. It's kind of fun organizing everything, putting a few little touches, you know, like some cushions and just stuff that we love. We've cleaned up the kitchen. It's got this beautiful timber bench top. And um, oh, there's the captain. Morning, captain. We're still married. Yes. Yay. Got a few kilos lighter. Put up some early on the way up the coast yesterday. Yeah, it wasn't fun. So we're just crossing over to um, Brooklyn now to fill up. And I'll give you an update on how much that did actually cost us. Ciao for now. So um, we're now filling up with diesel. As you can see, um, marina diesel is much more expensive than just a normal petrol station. It's $1.84, which actually isn't that bad. Sometimes it's worse than that. So um, we decided not to fill it fully. Uh, we'll probably put about 250 litres in. And uh, yeah, that should last us months. Which is great, which is why we bought a diesel. Woohoo! So that concludes our voyage of the sea. Thanks so much for coming along for the ride. It's been great having you. I'm so stoked that I was able to get um, get all of that coverage out there um, on the ocean yesterday. Uh, no, actually, not yesterday, the day before. Um, today's Sunday. Gosh, time flies. So yeah, we're back, we're safe, and it's been such an amazing journey, and I've compiled, compiled all those small videos into one, so um, I'm going to upload it onto YouTube so you guys can have a look, and hopefully you'll come along for the next one. Ciao for now. Bye.